Hey guys. <clears throat> so I'm out here at my typical little nature spot that I like to go to. Just to kind of like ground my energy and stuff. Like getting out into nature is really good for that. But it's kind of drizzling outside right now. So I'm just like waiting for the rain to stop. So I can go sit by the water. Or I mean I could go take my umbrella right now. But I think I'm just going to chill. It looks like I'll make a video. So I was just like sitting here watching the, the birds and the um, squirrels and stuff. And I was just thinking like... <sighs> You know what I love about watching animals in nature is that they're so authentic. Like they don't stop and think like how am I being perceived right now? They just do their thing, you know. They're just, you know, doing what is natural to them, like being in the moment. They're always in the moment. I don't really think they think too much about the future. And I'm pretty sure they don't think much about the past, which doesn't matter. They're just in the moment naturally. And for us, because we're uh, human beings are so much more cognitively advanced, we think about things, you know, we're, we're pondering things, we're scheming in our head, we're wondering what others are, how other, others are perceiving us. So it, those are the things that prevent us from being authentic and from living in the moment is the thoughts, you know. But those are also the thoughts are also what make us so much more fun and interesting and what make life makes life exciting. Because those that's how you create. That's how you come together and have like moments of love and, and um collaboration and co creation. Like that's what makes humans awesome. But it's like a gift and a curse, you know. So that's why self-mastery is so important and trying to learn how to live in the moment and let go of all those things that hold you back. And all it is is thoughts, your own thoughts. It's the only thing holding you back. It's nobody else. It's no situation. It's your own thoughts. Yeah, wow. It was such a, a weird little epiphany I just had. And the most important thing about being authentic is not, is it's about having courage to be vulnerable in any situation. Because you're worried about what somebody thinks about you. You just want to be perceived in a certain way. You don't really care if that's really who you are. You know? And that's when you're really lost. You're really lost if you want to be perceived a certain way more than be who you are and I think the people don't know that they're being this way because they don't know who they really are to know that they're not being who they really are like that video I made the other day about fitting into a box and just like trying to be like everyone else and follow this crowd there's like a lot of lost people just walking around not knowing they don't know I think vulnerability is the main culprit because we're told to be tough. We're pulled, told to work through things. We're told that you have to work hard to receive abundance in your life. Not just abundance like financially, just abundance in every way. It requires this hard work. And the only reason that people believe, it's just a belief. So if you think you have to work hard to be abundant, the only reason why you have to work hard to be abundant is because you believe you have to work hard to be abundant. Because there's a lot of people who are abundant effortlessly. And they're the happy ones too. They just know that just by raising their vibration and being their authentic self, that you match the vibration of abundance. It's more about how you feel. Like Abraham says, the better you feel, the more you allow. So if you feel good you allow more into your life in all aspects, like abundance in all aspects, more love, more financially stable, more just things that you love, like opportunities to go places that you want to go, opportunities to do things that you want to do, business opportunities just pop out of nowhere because you're matching the vibration and where these desires that you have are at. So like, 
<clears throat> getting stressed out over work and trying to like force yourself to work harder, you're adding resistance to getting to that desire. And you got to let go. Like the main thing into about, you know, manifesting any type of abundance in your life is like being able to let go of the outcome, letting go of any expectation. And if it doesn't feel good, don't think if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Only act off of inspiration. And if you're having a shitty day, then just focus on anything that makes you feel better. Anything that makes you feel better. Because if you keep trying to force it, it will never happen. All you're going to do is continue to get those things that you're like, all those negative things you're saying, you keep beating that drum. That's what you keep bringing back into your life. It's law of attraction basics, you know? And when you're hard on yourself, the universe could be hard on you. That's what you're vibrating back to yourself. So everyone wants to be like, come on. Like when I get like that sometimes, like, come on, Kelsey, like you could do this. Like you're better than this. Like, you know, but as soon as I go from you can do this, which is somewhat positive to you're better than this. Like, no, you are, you are pure positive energy in any given moment. Like that's who you are. So you're not better than, no, like you are right exactly where you're supposed to be. If you're sitting in the middle of a shit storm in contrast and that like shitty things are happening in your life, you're supposed to be there right now because there's a less, like you're supposed to be able to pick the value out of that contrast. You, it's all, life is what you perceive it. Any situation you're going through, it can be a good situation to you or a horrible situation to you depending on how you perceive it. We make choices in how we think, and that's what being conscious is all about. Like, looking at yourself outside of yourself. When you, when you think something, perceive that thought, and then choose a perception that suits your highest good. So you look at this situation, you look at different ways that you could perceive it, because there's like millions of different op uh, ways to perceive anything. And then based on the perception that you choose is what's going to vibrate back into your life. What you're going to attract back into your life. So when they say you choose happiness, you literally are. You're choosing how to perceive any given moment. And it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice. In every aspect of your life. Parenting, career, romantic relationships, relationships with your parents, friends what you maybe a hobby maybe a sport you play like every single aspect of your life you have to be conscious of how you're thinking how are you speaking to yourself how are you speaking to your children which becomes their inner voice and it's and then not to get down yourself when you perceive something that you did as being negative don't beat yourself up just try to correct yourself and like look at yourself as if you were a child. Like how would you how would you treat yourself? Would you be encouraging? Would you encourage yourself? Would you comfort yourself? I don't think we talk to ourselves in the loving ways that we need to. We have to look at ourselves as if we are a child and nurture ourselves in that way and that's why a lot of people have a hard time attracting love into their life because they say more negative things to themselves than they do positive therefore if they can't love themselves then somebody else's will they can't attract somebody that will love them it's not a vibrational match you know when you really truly find your soulmate is when you fall in love with yourself. When you fall in love with that little child inside of you that you comfort and you would encourage. Because then you're going to attract somebody who will comfort and encourage you and support you and love you unconditionally. No matter, you could do the shittiest thing in the world and you're still going to love yourself. You're not going to beat yourself up for it and you're going to learn from it and take, you know, take it as a learning experience. And then you will attract people that will love you no matter what and support you no matter what. So what I'm trying to get across today is vulnerability is the main key in being authentic. And we all kind of got to learn how to live in the moment and observe our thoughts. And just try to perceive life in a different way. And it stopped raining, so I'm going to go get out into nature. See you guys.